I'm Leo Warder for Kick Guru. This is the Sapphire Nitro R9 Fury Overclock Edition we recently reviewed. I'm giving you a video look at it uh, on Kick Guru's website. We have the usual written review along with a bazillion photos and graphs and such like. Let's just unbox the fella. And the focus here, once you take off the protective shield, is the nitro branding along with uh, the back plate and cooler. Put the box to one side. Uh, there are three 90mm fans, they go the full length of the card. It weighs a surprising amount. The back plate with nitro branding is a substantial piece of uh, engineering. Uh, all all uh, basically arranged to lower temperatures. The cooler is substantial, the fans are good, and the heat pipes, as we show on Kit Guru, there are actually three different sizes of heat pipe. You've got 10 mil, uh, 8mm and 6mm heat pipes in there, a total of five heat pipes. Uh, a whole bunch of uh, ports and connectors, exactly as you'd expect. Uh, performance and pricing are very similar to a reference GTX 980, so we're talking over £400 of price. Uh, prices have recently dropped a little, they were around the £450, £460 mark, now about £430. Uh, performance is comparable to GTX 980, uh, but it's also the look of the thing. It's a very stylish graphics card, and you cannot at first glance actually tell that it uses uh, the latest HBM high bandwidth memory technology, uh, which gives it uh, a phenomenal amount of bandwidth. The controller for the memory, 4096 bits wide. This is the overclocked edition. When we tested it on Kick Guru, we actually overclocked manually and took it a little bit further than Sapphire delivered it. Performance. Uh, substantial and impressive. Uh, but in this instance, as well as performance, we've also got the looks. Okay, I'm going to run Metro 233 Redux. Uh, this is at 1080p and uh, very high quality settings. Uh, the system, just to give some background, uh, the case happens to be a Fantex Eclipse P400. Uh, it's an Intel Core i7-6700K Skylake. Uh, Asus Maximus uh, 8 Formula motherboard, some DDR4 Corsair LPX Vengeance memory, and a Seasonic uh, Silent Snow power supply running the show. Um, now, the settings are our standard Kit Guru high quality settings at 1080, and this hauls along at an average of about 80 something frames per second, which is obviously entirely playable. It so happens this is a 4K panel, but that's a mere detail. The graphics card, when it's doing this, is nigh on silent. It is impressively quiet. The air cooler on the CPU is a Fantex air cooler. That is also quite quiet. The CPU is running at stock clocks, so it's putting out a reasonable amount of heat, but uh, the cooler can handle that really easily. And the upshot is a gaming system that can haul along at 1080p, and as our review on KitGuru showed, if you're running at 4K, it is quite doable. You might have to pull back on your image quality settings a little bit to uh, get the most out of the graphics card, but it can absolutely do 4K or somewhere between 1080p and 4K if you prefer. But go back to 1080, whack up the settings, gameplay is absolutely sublime. Uh, and this is uh, instantly running at uh, stop clocks. For our full review, uh, uh, Zardon actually overclocked uh, the Fury very slightly. Um, so overall, the gaming experience is sublime, but uh, the build quality of the graphics card, the quietness and the coolness are absolutely welcome. And in this system, which is relatively compact and nice and quiet, uh, the graphics card has been a complete revelation to me. It's the first time I've seen um, a Fury, and the Sapphire take on it uh, with the, the Nitro hardware is uh, properly impressive. Uh, it definitely takes it one step beyond the reference card. Uh, performance undeniably good, temperatures impressive, the absence of noise is totally unexpected. Um, the, the only downside you can raise against this graphics card is that the price is still a tad high, and that's obviously entirely in AMD's hands. If they can bring it down a bit further, uh, absolutely wonderful. But as it is, frame rates are uh, just excellent, and as you'll see in a moment when this finishes up, um, 
a truly good gaming experience. So, uh, Kick Guru's time with the uh, with the Sapphire Nitro R9 Fury has been a very happy one, um, and we we look forward to the next stage, obviously, with this car when we have HBM2. But in the meanwhile, the Nitro hardware has uh, turned in some proper benefits, as you can see, for the uh, user. Uh, this is a total result. We're very happy with this. So this is the award for Kit Guru, and once again showing you the uh, Sapphire Nitro R9 Fury.